Is this why uh, they call you Hulk hands, I'm I, assuming? I guess. I definitely <laughs> want to be punched by you, man. <laughs> fighters gather around. I'm Arthur Chivichin, your collector fighter, bringing fighters and collectibles together on Collector's Cafe. How many people get your name wrong? Because I call it Karen. All the time. I've, I've been traumatized by it. <laughs> it works though. Karen, you're getting your makeup done? Right now. Uh, <laughs> right now. Hello everyone, I'm Arthur Chivichin, your Collector Fighter, bringing fighters and collectibles together on Collector's Cafe. Today our guests are MMA fighters Tyler Hulkan Freeland and Karin Darabadian. Tyler is currently undefeated with a 3-0 record in the featherweight division. Karin has a 10-4 record and is rated one of the top grapplers in the world. Tyler and Karin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Tyler. You're 3-0 as a pro, undefeated. Tell us about how'd you start fighting? At wrestling, growing up, I got made fun of some little person. That got me even more into the sport. And then my wrestling coach was like, hey, what do you want to do after high school? And I was like, oh, I want to keep competing. And he's like, check this out. And he brought me to an MMA gym. I loved it. We got my first amateur fight, knocked the kid out in the first round and fell in love with it. You being a little person, does that give you more of a motivation to prove everyone wrong? Yes, yeah, very big motivation because a lot of people are like, oh, how do you do it? How do you, like, how do you go in there? It's like, it's like, how, how do you pull up your drawers and go to work every day? I just get up and, and do it. Karin, you started out with Taekwondo and karate as your, as your background. Tell us how uh, that got you geared up for MMA. My dad put me uh, through karate, Taekwondo. Up until 13, I got my black belt and eventually started doing judo and jiu-jitsu, boxing and kickboxing, and ultimately all of it came together and started doing MMA. You recently had a fight in Atlanta. You beat five guys with one move, all under a minute. Tell us about that. I caught everybody in a heel hook under a minute. A uh, heel hook is breaking of the leg, so your foot breaking pretty much. I had five matches and they all totaled about four minutes and something seconds. We mentioned that you're a grappling champion. Can you explain to us what grappling is? It is wrestling with submissions on the ground. Submissions are anything that either break the bones or make you choke out or tap out. Any any sort of move that would cause you to want to have it stop. In grappling, we have something called tapping out, which let's say if I'm rolling with somebody, I would tap on their body to let them know that I had enough. Let go, you can let go now. So what collectible have you brought for us, Karn? I brought one of my shorts. This was probably one of my biggest fights. I fought uh, in the WC, which is now the UFC. I fought Razor Rob McCullough. And this was the actual fighting shorts uh, I had on during the fight, and I've never washed them. There's still blood stains on here. So I keep this, and this is like my pride and joy. How about you, Tyler? I brought all my hand wraps from my pro fights. They wrap your hands right before you put your gloves on. I had a fast second fight. Knocked the dude out in 40 something seconds. This one's special. I went to war in these hand wraps. I, went, I, I won a decision, but it was a very tough decision. These are pogs. They have like designs on all of them. Yeah, you just put them down and slam them. Whatever you get, you can take. Bam, just like that. We're gonna play a game that's called This for Stat. Two fighters will enter, and only one will be the greatest. Mike Tyson or Bruce Lee? Mike Tyson. I'm gonna say Bruce Lee. No way Mike Tyson would touch Bruce Lee, bro. Bruce Lee is what? Bruce Lee is so small for Mike. There's no way. Hey, I'm so small for everybody else, but what oh, am I going in? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the next one, Jackie Chan versus Jet Li. Jackie Chan. And I'm gonna go against his word. I'm saying Jet Li. <laughs> <laughs> the Incredible Hulk or Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. No way. Hulk Hogan. The Incredible Hulk, baby. Come on now. <laughs> Donald Trump versus an Ewok. Get out of here with Donald. Donald. The Donald. I'm going with Ewok. Come on, I'm like a little bit taller than him, so I gotta stick with us little people. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson versus a rock. Oh, like a bull? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's probably The Rock. Yeah, I'm gonna. The Rock Rock. I'll agree with you. You guys are actually agreeing for once. Yeah. I'll I'll agree with which you. rock are you agreeing on? The Dwayne Johnson. No, I'm talking about a rock rock. Get out of here with that, bro. There we go. So talk about what's next for both of you guys. I'm just uh, going all out, going back to MMA. You're going to be back next year. Tyler, how about you? I've been talking about March on the GKO card up by Sacramento, California. Yeah. Staying in the gym, staying healthy, and wh whatever they throw at me. Well, Tyler, Karn, thank you again for stopping by and talking with us. I'm Arthur Chivichin, your collector fighter, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collector's Cafe.